Hi Leo, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the week of May 28th, 2019 reading. I'm just doing a quick checkup, a couple quick readings in between my personals so I can uh, stay in touch with what's going on with my subscribers. Welcome if you're new, welcome back to those of you whom have been with me from the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and start. So, the Leo energies I'm feeling during this general reading uh, will be as such. And uh, thank you to those of you whom have let me know that these are indeed your energies and or your messages. If these messages resonate, feel free to write me for more information uh, for a personal reading. My uh, email address is josiek42 at gmail.com and my price list will be in the box below. I am still offering the spring summer special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. All right, so this particular Leo is, again, thinking about their home, their home environment, maybe moving to a new home or business situation opportunity. Um, they're thinking maybe about marriage commitment, partnership, or contract. Wondering about the devotion of another or... Um, confused a little bit about the path ahead. I feel like they made a decision on a path, this Leo, and they are feeling pretty good. Um, they're rising to a higher level of pay, a higher position, a, a better home or circumstance or situation. Spiritual advice is saying, um, Recognize whatever the obstacles are that are causing you inner chaos and conflict so that spirit can help guide you in the right direction to balance and contentment whereby you can no longer worry about what was and start to create the next chapter because some are kind of getting where they wanted to be and now they're looking at things from every perspective saying, um, have I made the right decisions and how do I communicate out to others? There's, this Leo starts to end up making themselves feel trapped or stuck in some way. All right, I've been shuffling um, the Rider weight deck, and I'm going to get to that in a minute. First, I want to go through what I've already laid to save a little time here, which is the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by... Colette Baron Reed. So in the center of the circle spread representing today into the next few days, today's the 28th of May, spiritual advice is to sit in the here and now and reminisce on the past, what you have learned about yourself on, in the past, who you are now today and how you're going to now move into this beautiful new future, okay, to free yourself from your thoughts of chaos and conflict. The energies of chaos and conflict are for some reason in this Leo's thoughts. Uh, and they're feeling a little bit lost this week. So, or at least by around Friday. So this Leo's being guided in relation to other people in uh, that circle spread position. Uh, you've got the, the to the C energy. So this is about really uh, sitting in the here and now, thinking about what do I want to create now moving forward Praying to spirit to guide you into a new path of exciting, passionate ideas, projects, hobbies, financial situation, okay? Knowing that through your prayers, spirit will eventually blow the wind and the waves uh, of your boat into the right direction, okay? So in other words, um, you're in a good spot. You just need to give thanks to the wonderful things you have in your life day to day this week. So in your creative aspects position, we've got kind of an empty cup feeling here, right? Where's the yang to my yin? Well, we can fill our own cup as we sit in the here and now and free ourselves from old energies of chaos and conflict and, and recognize that this new direction is a blessing, is a gift, is the right direction for whichever Leo this is. So in your actions position, it's about just maintaining balance, contentment. Giving thanks for each moment of every day. Emotionally, uh, I think by the weekend, if not early into June, the week of June 4th and 5th, 2019, uh, this Leo is going to start to feel better and is being guided to connect with others. Come together with your tribe, your peeps, your family, your friends, your neighbors, whomever. Um, 
know subconsciously that you've got the leg up energies here spirit saying we have been guiding you into this correct direction so uh, look at how far you've come and what you want to create next in this next chapter of your life so day to day this leo has the never-ending story fairy she could fly and she could come up with great ideas and she can go here or there but she's sitting there above this glass encased heart that says yes no maybe so will they won't they what what if you know what if my my cup remains empty well our cup will not remain empty if we can overflow it with new ideas getting together with other people making plans this week Okay, so in your sub, uh, I'm sorry, inner strengths position, look at that. You've got higher power, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, having the strength to sit in the here and now to maintain balance by focusing on what it is you want to create next for your life in your journey, connecting back with family and friends, knowing that spirit is uh, sending you into the right direction when it comes to relations with others. Okay, so in a three card summary to my right, we have uh, today the 28th to around the 30th. Uh, why? Why did things happen? Why did, you know, where do I go now? This person, this circumstance, this situation um, is what spirit's saying you need to appreciate. The ones who are in your life were meant to be in your life at this point in time. Uh, for some Leos, I'm feeling like you may be wanting someone to offer their loyal heart to you or vice versa so that you can fill your cup uh, with a connection that feels blessed. But at some point, Spirit saying you're going to recognize uh, it was just a short term connection situation or circumstance to help you to learn more about yourself. Uh, so for some, uh, you're going to come to the realization that what you thought was right for you in some way wasn't and, and to be okay with that, you know, maybe I was supposed to stay there or with this person or go in a different direction. But spiritual advice here is to take this week to rest and to remain poised as again, you give thanks to uh, those whom are your soulmates your kids, your family, your friends, as you sit between what was and what is yet to now become in your life. So Spirit's saying celebrate the path you're on and then come to the edge and really look at what can I plant next in my life's journey path. Uh, new ideas, new goals and intentions. Uh, feeling or you're being guided to remember um, home is where your heart is, okay? Uh, by the weekend going into early next week, June 4th, the week of June 4th, 2019, the advice is just to breathe, come together with family and friends, maintain peace and balance, okay? Because there are some form of old patterns, cycles, behaviors uh, that are going on here that need to be recognized because once we recognize unhealthy pattern cycles or behaviors, we can then get rid of this chaos and conflict in our thoughts. So spirits all around you at this time, whichever Leo this is telling you that uh, now is the time to chop that wood so you can eventually kick back and enjoy the success you've been working on. Yes, along the way, you may have come into connection with another or a change in your life that was faded. It was meant to happen for just a moment of time and then it's meant to slip between your fingers and move on its way. So they're saying divine timing will help for this Leo to realize you are not stuck or trapped in any way. Uh, figure out what you are fearful of. Come back together with those whom by which you were blessed to have in your life. And recognize that all that glitters is not gold. Once that gold blows away and the mask comes off, sometimes we... Uh, Think of a person, place, circumstance, or situation to be more or better than what it truly was. So there's a spiritual transformation with the regeneration energies here. And now again, Spirit's saying, Leo, this egg represents goals and intentions. And as you work on new goals and intentions in your life this week, we're going to give you the key to happiness and success. To communication with others so that you can start to create and co-create this new chapter of your life. So for those of you who you who have made a big change in your life, sit in the here and now and give thanks to spirit, knowing that uh, old 
unhealthy energies, behaviors, thoughts, emotions that were unfulfilling need to go in the past. Okay, now it's a time for happiness, whether you like it or not, right? All right, so I'm bringing in, again, I just shuffled the Rider Waite deck. And we have, yeah, somebody feeling like um, too much is going on. They don't know what to do. They're ready to walk away in spirit, saying sit in the here and now. And look at how far you've come, what you've created, who you are today. In your thoughts, you may be a bit conflicted because someone around you may um, have been dealing with some stuff. This could be an older air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. So there's indecision about another who may have air in their chart, okay? Or that's you are able, just know that in your thoughts, you're able with the King of Swords energies here this week to free yourself from inner chaos and conflict, to uh, get clear and decisive about what does not serve you. Okay, because whatever is confusing you is leaving you unable to move forward into a path of victory. So think about what it is you are manifesting in uh, relation to others, how you want to move forward or what moving forward means to you so that you can uh, enjoy this new victorious direction, path, situation. Now, in your creative aspects position of the circle spread, we have a Leo who is looking with the Seven of Pentacles at how far they've come and how they're now going to overflow their cup of yin, their empty cup, with uh, new goals and intentions and directions of greater fulfillment. So in the actions position, we have an, a Leo, I believe, who has their heart open to um, and balanced by the weekend into early, uh, the early week of June 4th, 2019. Uh, really coming together and connecting with others, connecting with family. Some may be dealing with someone who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Some may be waiting for another person, yeah, who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. They're thinking about the family. They're thinking about forward movement. They're thinking about maybe the current status of their finances, something going slowly in the financial area. Now, subconsciously, this Leo wants to hop, skip, jump, have a good time, and say, let's move forward. So that's what Spirit's saying as well. It's time to move forward. Sit in the here and now for but a moment and plan how you're going to free yourself from energies of chaos and conflict feeling like you don't have enough and to start really getting excited about this new beginning new paths are just wide open to goals and intentions and projects right so day to day let go of what could have been should have been would be maybe you know and uh speak your truth now for some leos you may be trying to have a good time and someone is putting out your fire right and you're kind of like ugh, am i happy in this moment you know how do i maintain balance in your inner strengths position you've got father son holy ghost leo helping you to be strong enough to speak your truth to others about um whatever it is that's bothering you okay um, for some, there's indecision here for a Leo or whomever involving an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and you're trying to move on in a new direction, and you're being guided to speak your truth about whatever needs to be said here. So that you don't have to fight a situation. Some may just be saying, okay, I finally moved on from a situation. But, you know, physically, but emotionally, there's frustration. I really think, like, this Leo is frustrated, I think, about this process of change. Change is hard for some. I'm going to do a three-card summary to clarify to my right with the same 
Rider Wake deck. Yeah, there could be a lot of there. Yeah, a lot of fantasy and illusion today into the next couple days. Again, a new path overflowing with peace, joy, and happiness. A desire to maybe have a really good time, celebrate, but things are taking a little bit longer. And spirit saying with the hanged man energies, you know, if we can't celebrate something right now, enjoy the journey to planning that celebration because you are going towards a reason to celebrate. Look at this. A Leo who's feeling like the Queen of Pentacles, feeling very abundant, secure, stable, celebrating a home or business change. Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but there's that inner, inner frustration, chaos and conflict by the weekend. Thinking things through or being guided at least to take a rest. Some may be wanting to sneak away from a changing situation. They're mourning what was, and they're seeing someone or something as kind of not open. It could be because of change that's going on. Somebody's attention is elsewhere. There's a lot of things going on. You're trying to give birth to a situation, and this Leo is trying to make sure that the balance, the connection is balanced. Yes, especially when it comes to marriage, commitment, partnership. It's all going to be okay. Look at this. By early June 2019, we have a uh, Leo who is finally able to leave an old path behind to more or less listen to their intuition and free themselves from old patterns, behavior cycles, or conflict and chaos of the mind. Yeah, they're setting goals. This Leo setting goals and meeting goals maybe with another fire sign. And again, they're bringing a completion to an old path. Yeah. And are leaving troubled waters to go towards a wonderful, financially abundant, secure, and stable path. But there's movement involved here. There's change involved here. There are endings involved here. So there's a lot of stuff going on. But it's all going to be okay. Focus on uh, how you're going to move forward successfully. Maybe start a journal and talk about... Um, this new journey, how you got to where you are, what you're planning next, what your goals and intentions are going to be for the year. Somebody's questioning the devotion of themselves or another person, or they're feeling stuck. Okay, look at this. Shock of the new, Leo. Oh my gosh. Change is happening and there's a shock of the new, but shock of the new cards is number six and six represents success. So I'm going to look at my notes because this is a newer deck. The Sacred Rebels deck by Alana Fairchild, if I didn't say. And the card means strange, beautiful newness is seeking to manifest. Surrender, fear of the unusual, a time of great Liberation is at hand. Enjoy the journey. Don't fear the journey. Once you get settled, things will become, yeah, more day-to-day. -day. But I feel like this is a beautiful new journey, and there is much to be created in this journey ahead. So get excited about your future. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Please like, share, and or subscribe Thank you to those of you whom have donated. Take care and God bless.